Number two, for this problem, we're going to rotate the region around the x-axis. So the region that we're talking about is bounded by y equals 1 minus x squared and y equals 0. The first thing I want to do is to get a quick sketch of the region. 1 minus x squared, that's a parabola, but it's a concave down parabola that's been shifted up 1. So that's going to look like this. y equals 0 is the x-axis in disguise. So here's my y equals 0 line, which means this is the region in question, it's the part that's bounded by the two curves. Because I already know what the graph of y equals 1 minus x squared looks like, I know that that's going to be a positive one, and that should be a negative one. In the question, we're finding the volume of the solid when we revolve this around the x-axis. Since I'm going to be revolving around the x-axis, I need my cross sections to be perpendicular to the x-axis. When I spin that around, I get a solid shape. It's not hollowed out. And the reason that I know that is my arbitrary cross section, one side of it is touching my axis of rotation everywhere I am inside of the shape. So I know that our volume equation is going to look like pi r squared dx. And then we'll be adding those up calculus style. I already know that I'm going to take those slices as far to the left as negative 1 and as far to the right as positive 1. So I've got my bounds for the integral. And in this case, our radius, well always, our radius starts at the axis of rotation and goes until we hit the edge of our cross section. So if I start at the axis of rotation and I go until I hit this edge, then that radius is my height or my y value. So I'll be plugging in the 1 minus x squared. If this were on the midterm, we would stop here because we've been told that on the midterm we will only be asked to set up the volume problems. But just to make sure that we can finish off this integral, because there will be other problems where you'll need to finish off the integral, let's go ahead and finish it. Looking at this, I'm going to ask myself the same starting question I always do with integration. Is it algebra, trig, or a mixture of stuff? Well, this is just algebra, so I might still be hoping for a u substitution, but the derivative of 1 minus x squared would be 2x dx, and I don't have an extra x anywhere in the problem, which means I don't have a u substitution, and we have to do the algebra work. I'm going to foil this out. So I'm going to have 1 minus x squared times another 1 minus x squared. And if I think about multiplying that out, I'll have 1 squared, or 1, a negative x squared, another negative x squared, and a positive x to the fourth. So I'm looking at 1 minus 2x squared plus x to the fourth dx. You could pause at this point, and if you wanted, note that this is an even function. So instead of integrating from negative 1 to 1, you could double the answer and integrate from 0 to 1. I'm not going to bother with that. Integrating this, I'd get x minus 2x cubed over 3 plus x to the fifth over 5. And then we're going from negative 1 to 1. Plugging in 1, I'd have 1 minus 2 thirds plus 1 fifth. And then we'll subtract off plugging in negative 1. When I plug in negative 1, sorry about that. When I plug in negative 1, I'll end up with negative 1. Negative 1 cubed is going to give me a negative number. 
So minus and minus would make that plus two thirds. And then negative one to the fifth, it's gonna give me a negative one. So I'll have negative one. Oops, I said the right thing, wrote the wrong thing. Negative one over five. And I would probably quit there. Okay, so there are a couple of comments in here that the video is blurry. So let me switch over to my alternate Wi-Fi network.